so I thank Ashley and uh, Dublin North the uh, Housing Crisis Committee for organising this event and Kerry as well and Clara in particular because they put a lot of work into this. Um, I'm not probably going to give you as much statistics or elegant quotes as Rory heard. I'm probably going to keep it fairly simple and talk about what I've been doing with a group called Housing Action Now and uh, what we think we can do moving forward with communities to organise around housing. So the first thing is um, Housing Action Now started about a year ago and it started with um, a couple of activists who have been involved in social housing and um, activism in the inner city in Dublin um, for about 20 years and also involved activists who have been quite NAM in the inner city around this building to be taken away and which they felt could be used for actual public good so they've been occupying buildings like NAM buildings. and the first thing they set out was to have a charter for what we thought we needed around housing and a few demands were kind of listed out and this was last May. And the first thing that they said was, um, really clearly, um, we did not create this housing crisis. We did not vote to increase homelessness. We did not ratify a treaty that allowed private investors and speculators to push us out of our homes. We did not give consent to evictions. We did not choose to throw families onto the street. We did not make a collective call to be ruled by death. We made no rallying cry to introduce chaos and fear into our housing market. We participated in no movement that sought to repress the accommodation rights of oppressed minorities. We did none of this, and yet we are being pushed out of our homes. We have been pushed out of our cities, we have pushed out of our country. And this makes us ask, does this country belong to speculators and developers who are only concerned with their pockets? Or does this, belong, does this country belong to apathetic government who refuse to protect the unprotected majority, but instead choose to use this protect our own profit, or does this country belong to our kind of three areas interconnected? There was a crisis in social housing that we needed to actually build houses around and actually provide for people. We thought there was a crisis in the private rental sector and we need rent controls. We also thought there was a mortgage crisis and we need to stop evictions, first of all, to deal with that, and it's our right now debt. So at that point, um, we tried to campaign around that. We were doing protests last summer with different groups supporting different actions. But in the end, we felt we were quite small and it was hard to challenge all those massive issues by ourselves. So in around September, we came together and started saying, how can we bring groups together from across the city and talk about how can we organize together and help each other? So the first thing we did in November was to pull together groups and some Spanish activists who had organized campaigns right across their country stopped thousands of evictions and built a movement of thousands of ordinary people fighting around housing. And we got them to talk about their experience and what they thought people learn in Ireland. After that, in February, and a lot of the groups here were at, we pulled together groups to talk about what we could concretely do in the city. And the first thing everyone said was we needed to help each other, because we're all quite small, that we needed resources and information, which we're starting to pull together for each other and then we could have some type of loose network which could support each other for events like this or if we want to take actions or if we want to do any, build anything else up across the city. So that's kind of where we're at now and at the moment Housing Action Now itself has been doing a little bit around water and the tenants issue, how those bills have been affecting people. We've been supporting events like this, we're starting to build up infrastructure like websites which are going to have all this type of housing information that Roy Hearn has at his disposal for example. And we're going to support events like this and hopefully beyond this build, build up housing movements which of course have to be led by communities as well. They can't particularly be led by political parties and no offence to political parties they can be involved and political members can be involved. We think it's those who are affected by the crisis itself who have to lead any response to it. And this group here is an example of that and hopefully right across Dublin we can have more groups like that who are going to do it, have some type of fight back. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I realise that there's not much time and I'd be as interested to hear what everyone else thinks in this room as much as myself speaking. So I'll leave it at that. Thanks a lot.